What's going on guys? Today we're going to be looking at two new pulse rifles available with the House of Wolves expansion. This would be Aegis of the Kel, which you can get from Prison of Elders, and the Messenger, which is available through the Trials of Osiris. First one up is Aegis of the Kel. I told you you can get Aegis of the Kel through Prison of Elders, which is true, but you can only get it from purchasing it through Varix in the Reef with a Weapon Core or through a Judgment of Chance, and it can also be received as a drop from Skolas, and this will be the primary burn version of the weapon. Now you could classify the Aegis of the Kel as a low impact, high red of fire pulse rifle, and it shares the same impact and red of fire as the Bad Juju. However, it gets very different perks. The first perk it gets is Rangefinder, and this increases the range of your weapon when you are aiming down the sights. This is definitely an awesome perk for pulse rifles, as you're going to be wanting to compete at longer ranges inside of the Crucible and also in PvE. In the middle tree it gets three great options. The first one being Extended Mag, where it'll bring your mag size from 21 to 30. The second perk is called Fitted Stock, and this will increase the base stability of, of the Aegis of the Kel. And the last one is called Flared Magwell, and this will actually max out its reload speed. The last perk is actually random, and here are your options. There are six options, and they are all Fallen related. This will give you extra bonus damage or another ability, for example, stunning a captain inside a PvE. Unfortunately, this isn't an extra perk like Hive Disruptor and Oracle Disruptor were. This actually takes the place of another perk. Okay, moving on to the Messenger now. So the Messenger is a Trials of Osiris gun, meaning you can purchase it from Brother Vance as long as he's selling it, and as long as you have 7 wins in your pocket. But it can also be received as an Adept version, which is a primary burn version from the Lighthouse, after going flawless, 9 wins, and 0 losses. The Messenger belongs to the highest impact, lowest rate of fire archetype. It's got more impact than the Red Death, but obviously that comes with the consequence of a low rate of fire. The first perk is Third Eye. I'm sure most of you are familiar with this perk, but it allows you to see your radar when you're aiming down the scope. It's a pretty useful perk, especially for PvP. Uh, it's not the greatest perk, but then again, it's also really helpful. In the middle, it's looking pretty similar. The only difference is it gets perfect balance instead of fitted stock. But another difference is the Messenger has a base mag size of 24, and with the extended mag, it upgrades it to 33 instead of the Ages of Kel 21 to 30. Looking at this, it seems like Perfect Balance is actually more effective, which means you'll probably be getting more bang for your buck using Perfect Balance on the Messenger. However, uh, the stability is actually more on the Ages of the Kel. The final perk on the Messenger is known as Headseeker, and this one will buff your precision damage after hitting a couple of body shots. I found this one to be pretty useful when it happens, However, it's not something you want to go for. Okay, to conclude this PvE section of this video, we'll just be examining the stats of the two weapons. So the Aegis is actually weaker in every section except for DPS. And this is because it requires you to land more headshots than the Messenger in a more rapid succession. The bottom line is the Aegis of the Kel will do more DPS. But the thing is, with the Messenger, you have more time to make every shot count and this will make it so your DPS will generally be higher. And it's not too far off anyways, even with maximum DPS on both of these weapons. Okay, so let's talk about both of these weapons inside of the Crucible now. Well, what's there to talk about? We've already covered what these weapons do, and those things should probably be applied in the Crucible as well, except for the Aegis of the Kel special Fallen theme perk. The Aegis of the Kel has a time to kill of 1 second and 4 milliseconds. For the argument's sake, we'll just say it kills in 1 second, which is a pretty short amount of time, but just keep in mind you're not going to be getting that every single time, because that means landing every single headshot in 3 bursts. The messenger, with its incredibly high impact, manages to kill in 2 bursts if you land all the shots to the head, or almost all of the shots to the head. Just like the Aegis of the Kel, the Messenger also manages to kill in around one second. The reason why we have to look at the time to kill and not just the DPS is because if you think of a weapon like Timur's Lash, it 
Uh, if you fire two shots, it takes him down to a sliver of health. But what DPS will tell you is that it kills very quick. But in reality, you're going to need to fire that third shot. And you can't fire a quarter of a shot. I'm sorry if that didn't make sense. My opinion on these two weapons is that if they kill in the same amount of time, but with the messenger you only need to land six shots, well, doesn't it make sense that the messenger would be better? I like the simplicity of the messenger. All you need to do is land six shots or two bursts. With the Ages of the Kel, sometimes I feel my finger just hammering down on the trigger trying to hit their head as quick as I can before I die. But with the messenger, it's sort of, you know, relaxed and I can just hit my two bursts and they're dead. Alright guys, other than that, I don't really have much to say about both of these weapons. Uh, I thought I covered a lot on sort of what they do. And I definitely encourage you to try them out if you have both of them. But I would say the messenger is better in PvP. And for PvE, I'd say they're both pretty good. I have no preference there. But for PvP, I definitely stick with the messenger uh, for that two burst kill. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next one.